So we've been working for almost a decade on the school project in Abraham's village of Matunget in Kenya. And we've purchased four acres of land. We've had the school designed by a well-recognized architect here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, uh, my friend Jeff Sears, who's going to be present and help with the school construction. We bought a tractor that we're going to use and uh, had a, tr a trailer made. The trailer just got finished over the weekend. And so we have, we're putting together all of the pieces. Um, there's a quarry nearby. They've been cutting stone for several months to get ready. We have over a thousand feet of uh, stone all ready to be transported to the site and to use it to build the school. And so we, we've laid the groundwork. And in addition to the groundwork, once the school gets open, we have a business. We shipped this tractor and farming implements to Kenya and we're going to own and we do own some of the only uh, heavy equipment in the area. And so we're, able, we're going to be able to use those, that equipment to generate money, to have a farming business and use the tractor for all the things in a rural area that a tractor and a trailer and a plow and farming implements can be used for. And so that will generate operating income for the school. Um, the meals program is a crit critical part of the school. For kids to have a hot meal during their school day can make the difference between them attending school and not attending school. And also helping with their nutrition. You know, we're dealing, in, in the village there are very, very poor people and just getting through the day and having enough to eat can be a challenge. And so to have a hot meal as part of the learning experience, it prepares you to learn. It's hard to learn on an empty stomach. If you have a hot meal in you and you can expect that and you know that that's going to happen, that's our vision for the future of the school. So what we have is we've laid the groundwork and we have a plan for the future. Right now, this, the effort to build the school is a major effort. We have all the pieces together and we're doing this harambe. How are we going to build the school? The concept of Harambe, it's a Swahili word, it means we all come together. Abraham, we just spent funds to send Abraham to Kenya for three weeks. He just got back last week. And again, he's laying the groundwork. He had meetings with leaders of his community. He had planning sessions. He showed the architectural plans to an engineer who we're working with because the school needs to be designed and built to certain standards. And um, so all of this groundwork is, it's expensive and is preparing us for the Harambe that'll take place in October of this year. And just as the community is coming together to build the school using their labor, their ex expertise, their sweat, we're turning and we're opening the Harambe fundraiser here locally and throughout the United States in an effort to raise money to help build the school. So to fill that gap between all the work we've done over the past decade and operating and running the school once we get it built. And so this is our, you know, when we started Santa Fe Thunder, we started the race as our fundraiser. We built a machine to make money. We put on the race every year and that money has been funding our efforts over the last decade. Well, at this point we need some extra support and our story is out there we have uh, done our best to move the ball forward and we're looking for some additional assistance to help us achieve realization of the school and get the school built this October.